Welcome to today's reflection and we're going to be looking at John chapter 15 verses 1 to 17. I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me but bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the world I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is, this is my father's glory, that you would bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. As the father has loved me, so I love you. Now remain in my love. And if you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love just as I have kept my father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My commandment is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. You are my friends. If you do what I command, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command. Love each other. Well, we've thought about trust and truth over the last couple of days. And today we're focusing on love. Jesus loved us first. We didn't choose Jesus. Jesus chose us and chose us not to just be his servants, but friends. And as a friend, we imitate him and we are called to love others. For some of us, we find it really hard to believe that we're lovable. It's hard to believe that Jesus really could love us and actually that he's interested in us. Well, the love of Jesus is something that is truth and that we have to trust in. So today, let us choose to accept the sacrificial love of Jesus, that he knows us, that he's interested in us and he calls us to be his friends. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you call us to be your friends. You knew us. Uh, when we were in our mother's womb, you have chosen us. And Lord Jesus, we pray, Father, that you would help us to trust and to believe in those truths. And help us, Jesus, to love ourselves and others, even those whom we find it hard to love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hope you have a good day and take care and tomorrow will be the last of these reflections.